So, I've got a little bit something new today. Um, I haven't done a video on my four-wheeler in a while. But, as you can see, this is not original equipment here. Earlier today, uh, I was needing to use this thing for something, and I came outside and I fired it up. And I went to back it up from where it was parked at, and I broke the reverse cable slick off. Well, I didn't break the cable slick off necessarily. Uh, the handle that pulls up, the cable broke, and the handle and the little rod knoll slid out. This is for the low range. And so, yeah, it ruined the reverse cable, and there wasn't really anything I could do about it, so I decided to make myself a new one, and I hunted around here at the house. And uh, only used the very finest garbage I could possibly muster up to make one out of. So this got done start to finish today and cost me zero dollars. But anyway, this right here, as most of you probably can tell just by looking at it, that's a throttle cable off from an old lawnmower. And so it just loops around through the frame. I got it zip tied right there to keep it away from the exhausts. Got it clamped down there, and it runs back, and that is part of the original bracket off from the original cable. You can see I started to drill another hole in it, and I accidentally broke my drill bit off in it, so I had to drill another one just back behind it. And uh, so yeah, this is part of the original cable, and it's just cut off and has the lawnmower cable stuck in it. But it works pretty good. But anyway, uh, you can see there's a couple of holes. One of them was already drilled in the plastic on this thing. I don't know what it was for, but I drilled another one. And this bracket that this is made out of is an old Sawzall blade. A real wide old Sawzall blade. You can actually see the teeth in it right there still. I wouldn't worry about it cutting anything though because it was insanely dull. But anyway, I heated it with a torch, bent it, and bolted it to the inner fender bracket here, and then heated it in a different spot and twisted it to get the shape that we've got going on here. And uh, so yeah, it's actually decently solid, and it works pretty good. That right, Daisy? <clears throat> Hop on this thing and start it up and show you guys what I'm talking about. Shove it down here in reverse. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. And I tell you, this thing works uh, a thousand times smoother than what the uh, original cable ever did. It is so much smoother. like Because, I mean, you know, obviously that's a saw blade. That's not like the most robust bracket in the world. But, like, it doesn't take any effort, hardly at all. Of course, it's not going to go in reverse now because the thing's sitting still. Let me roll it forward just a hair. Still don't want to do it. Come on. Whatever. It won't hardly shift in reverse if it's not running. But anyway, yeah, I mean, the thing takes practically zero effort to work. This one right here, it was a handle just like this, but it was red. And I'd broken it once before and fixed it, and it would absolutely make your hand raw trying to work that thing. The cable was so rusted inside, and it was ruined. But anyway, yeah. So, new reverse cable for my crunchy old 30-year-old Suzuki 4-wheeler.